All right, all your pictures are in. Oh man, I can't wait for you to see them. Oh. Now, use your device to type in what you think the title for this picture could have been. Or better yet, something you think could trick the other players into thinking it's the title. You'll get points for every player that picks your answer. Hey! Here's everybody's picks. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Okay, let's do this again. Type in a convincing title now. Okay, here are your choices. Hey! All right, who picked what? <laughs> I should probably be saving these drawings or something. <laughs> Type in your titles now. What did everybody pick? Hey! I'm just glad when you saw the title Pervert, you didn't draw a picture of me.
And here are your picks. <laughs> It's hard to know who's to blame for everybody getting this one wrong. That was so much fun. Let's do it again. Here are some more titles to draw. your drawings it's time for some fun oh. now let's take a look at this one hey Got that? I expected more from you. Enter your titles now. Here's everybody's picks. <laughs> you all got it right. Well, most of you. Next up. Hey! 
Hey! Okay, here are your choices. Hey! What did everybody pick? <laughs> Congrats to the one player who got that one right. It's fun when only one person gets it right because they get to gloat. <laughs> Thank you.
drawful. Unless my math is wrong, there are five of you. So let's give you each two opportunities to draw something really stupid. Let's party. Okay, I'm sending a title to each of your devices. Something unusual. Like rumpus room or shark butler. Draw a picture on your device that would have that title and when you're done, hit send. And you'll get points for each player that can correctly guess your title. So, start drawing. Go now! I have all your pictures now. Uh, okay, these are weird. Uh, let's look at them. Oh. Now, use your device to type in what you think the title for this picture could have been. Or better yet, something you think could trick the other players into thinking it's the title. You'll get points for every player that picks your answer. Here's everybody's picks. Of all the songs we could have made a title, that's just weird. And our next weird doodle. Put in your titles now. And here are your picks. Oh man, all this time I was convinced it was Professor Plum in the conservatory with the candlestick. Let's take a look 
at our next piece of art. Everybody's picks. <laughs> Only one of you was able to figure that one out. <laughs> Enter anything that could almost make sense now. Hey! player got it wrong. What did everybody pick? Okay, so that happened. Heading to your devices as I speak. Get ready to draw them.
Here I go, mopping the floors. <laughs> Pardon me, fellas. I'm pretty sure that janitor's a spy. Could be German. No, I think it's just for his own personal enjoyment. And here I come again. Mopping, mopping, mop, Rooney. Scooty up. Why are my keyboard and desk chair covered in bird droppings? Anyone? Oh yeah, Agent Squawkington was in today for a debrief. Good for him. Doesn't explain why he took a dump on my station. Don't worry about it, man. Well, it does Trust me, don't make a scene. Easy for you to say. You don't have to sit in Falcon mess. But I don't mind sitting in this Falcon mess. See? Actually pretty comfortable. A reminder to all agents, please do not moon the surveillance satellites. It upsets Agent Waller. To all agents, the break room refrigerator will be cleaned out on Friday. Please remove all personal items. This includes condiments, lunch containers, and the frozen Hitler brain. Thank you. You know, the cameras picked up something really weird. Really? Yeah, it's behind a fast food joint. It's almost some sort of portal. A portal? Yeah, it's like some sort of swirling... I'm going to stop you there. Is it possible it's like a dimensional rift? Maybe. Like a doorway to another dimension? I mean, it could be. I mean, I know that seems it's very unlikely. It seems very unlikely. Like, ridiculous. Kind of dumb. Like, not even worth talking about. Yeah, it's probably nothing. You want to get lunch? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, so if you could ask her to call me back at the field office, that'd be great. This is Agent Warner. Thanks. Bye. What? Why do you refer to yourself as Agent Warren? Because it's my name. Your first name? So? You're doing the whole one name thing like Madonna? I gotta go. Lunch plans. You meeting Ranger Rick and Fire Marshal Bill? How do you know Warren's not my first and last name? Because I've known you for seven years. Have you? Name plate's right there on your desk. Is it? You are so annoying. Am I? Say, Rob, do you ever think there are people out there listening in on our conversations? Are you asking if I think there's people eavesdropping on the eavesdroppers? Yeah, I guess. Wow, that's pretty meta. But there could be, right? I mean, sure. I guess there could be a group of people gathered in a room listening to our conversations at this very moment. But I find that hard to believe. That would mean this group of work associates or friends or family members would presumably have nothing better to do right now than to circle around and listen to our inane conversations. Yeah, I suppose that's a pretty silly thought. I mean, how pathetic would that group have to be? They could be enjoying each other's company, but instead they're actually listening to us. I guess you'd have to be a pretty pathetic group to do that. Exactly. They're the type of people I'd hate to be at a party with. I bet they're the type of party that puts out a veggie tray. A veggie tray. Yeah, and they probably have a pre-scheduled time for when the party ends. Well, it's 10 o'clock. Time to mosey on out. <laughs> oh, just thinking about a party like that bums me out. I'm sorry I ever brought it up. Me too. A group that would actually listen in on our dumb conversations? What losers? Breathe it in. Hey, for the game leader, can you pick up some finger food? Like chips and dip? Just take it out of petty cash. I already Three. did. 
but there was only enough for one, so I got dipped. Hey, your government here. We have been kinda, sorta, collecting information about all of you. Now, before you get all angry and call your congressperson, let us make it up to you by turning it all into a game that we call... Gespionage! Let the Gespionage begin! First up... I don't know, how about... What percentage of people currently have close friends with whom they became friends before age 10? Make it a good guess. You'll get more points the closer your guess is to the actual percentage. Anytime now. We have an answer. 41%. Everyone else, now it's your turn. Do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? I hear you. Breathe it in. Everyone is saying lower. Okay, right answer is... 44%. Excellent answer. Points for you. Who said higher? Wow, everyone was wrong. Okay, who's up next? Typey typey. What percentage of people own fridges specifically for holding beer? Everyone else, higher or lower? Thank you. Breathe it in. It's unanimous again. And the correct answer is... 14%. I miss my college dorm room. You got it right. Ooh, points for you. Next. I hear you. We've collected data about everything, even this. What percentage of post sneeze blessers usually say bless you, not gazuntite or something else after somebody sneezes? Sixty-two percent. Okay, higher or lower? Ooh. Breathe it in. One of you thinks it's higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. Seventy-six percent. I usually give people two bless yous. Sneeze number three gets a knock it off. Let's see who got it right. Well done, you get points. Next up. Ooh. All right, buckle in, I've got one for you. What percentage of people know where Denmark is on a map? Nine percent. Okay, higher or lower? I hear you. Breathe it in. Everyone says higher except for one of you. And the correct answer is... 63 percent! You weren't within 30 percent, so no points for you. Who got it right? Well done, you get points. Who's next? 
breathe it in. We know the men can all do it, but... What percentage of women can burp on command? Forty-three percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? Ooh. I hear you. Half and half. Okay, let's see the right answer. Forty-three percent. Whoa, you got it exactly right. What are the chances? I try to find that out, but I don't have my graphing calculator with me. Sorry, everyone. Genius here gets all the points. That's it for round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Ooh, I hear you. Breathe it in. Round two, here we come. Okay, who's first? Let's see, what would be good? How about this? While traveling, what percentage of people have fallen asleep on strangers? Okay, we have a guess, 58%. In round two, you can double down if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. Just pick much higher or much lower. If you're correct, you're mama's little angel. You get double the points. I hear you. Ooh. Breathe it in. Out of time. People are saying lower. And Surveil says 15%. You'd be surprised how many relationships start this way. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. As for you, good job. Double points for saying much lower. Okay, who's up next? All right, I have a good one. What percentage of pedestrians can post text messages while walking? What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Ooh. I hear you. Running out of time. Breathe it in. The vote is lower. Now let's get to the right answer. 64%. That was a respectable guess. Who got it right? Smart guess. Here's your points. Next up. I hear you. We have definitive proof here at the agency, but tell me. What percentage of people believe that there are aliens out there somewhere in the universe? 46%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Ooh. Breathe it in. It's unanimous again. And Surveil says... 
85%. You weren't within 30%, so no points for you. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. Who's next? Ooh, Ooh I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. What percentage of people have shopped online while intoxicated? Seventy percent. Everyone pick higher or lower. It in. One lonely vote for low. Okay, let's see the right answer. 49%! Why did I buy 17 pairs of Uggs? Who got it right? Nice job! I've got some points for you. Next up. Breathe it in. I'm going to search for... Between The Hunger Games, Twilight, and Insurgent, what percentage of people prefer The Hunger Games? 85%. All right, what do you think? I hear you. Ooh. Only one of you thinks it's higher. Okay, right answer is... 79%! Not too good, not too bad, just okay. Let's see who got it right. Nice job, I've got some points for you. It's time for the final round. Through sophisticated population profiling, we found the most popular answers to this question. Which other planet in our solar system is the favorite of Earthlings, other than Earth? Now let's see the answers. You get three guesses. Try to pick the most popular answers to get the most points. Good luck! Remember, you can pick three answers, not just one. Let's see what answers you chose. And what are the most popular answers? And the winner is... It in. Wow, you played this game like 87% of people wish they could, and only 21% of them could ever hope to.
Welcome to Trivia Night, a gauntlet of pain and judgment. But it's also a night that has the mantra, live, laugh, love, die. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Listen to me blabber on. Let's just get into the game. You'll figure it out as we go. Okay, first question. Which is not one of the six levels of the Girl Scouts of America? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong! Let's go someplace fun. Welcome to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. So put a little thought into this. It's important. Which sports team has the best fans? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. Pick which of these answers you hate the most. Whoever wrote the answer with the most votes dies. Pick the answer that makes you go, This shall not pass. The votes are in. Personally, I kind of like it, but the people have spoken. There's no hard way to say it. 
I killed you and now you're a ghost. But trivia is not just for those drawing breath. Keep playing and you might just rejoin the living. It's about to get incorporeal up in here. And here's how everyone stacks up early in the game. But you're all number one to me. Alright, next question. How long did Rip Van Winkle sleep? said this one <laughs> everyone is wrong i want to show you something well howdy there welcome back to the killing floor let's play the finger cutting game i know what you're thinking and don't worry it's not complicated at all just choose one of your fingers to cut off could it be any easier Get to cutting. Ah! 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 That was a blast. A real finger blast. You know where I'm going with this. Another peek at the scores. I've got more questions for you. What word refers to a citizen of Moscow? One. The rest of you who are still alive, prepare for your punishment. Let's see who's a wordsmith. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. It wasn't easy to make this whole letter grid thing work on your phone, so you're welcome. I'm going to hurt the person with the shortest word. Word time, go! The letters don't have to touch each other, and remember to press submit when you're done. I'm so excited to see what you come up with. Ooh, let's see what you did there. This was inevitable. Alright, next question. I know this answer because God whispered it to me, but... Who executed Joan of Arc? Play a game. We're going to play chalices. All of the safe players have been provided with a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in.
Unless you're doing a Princess Bride gag. Let's get to the poisoning already! And it's your turn now! Pick a chalice to drink from. Um, pretty, pretty... Good stuff. Now let's see what everyone drank. You got poison, son! Nothing beats the smooth, refreshing taste of poison. Next question. What type of animal is an Ibex? Picked this. Let's play a game. Uh oh, this is a mess. I'm going to need everyone's help. There's blood all over this art. Memorize the pattern of blood. Okay, you've had long enough. Whoa, I just suddenly had the strongest sense of deja vu. Weird, right? All tingly. I mean, I've run this game before a bunch of times, but it was different than that. Then again, it could also be this ice pick that's been lodged in my skull for the last year. Sometimes it weirds my brain out. I should probably do something about that. Anyway, reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. If anyone does better than you, I will be testy. Now, you're just guessing. Ah! Here's that art again. Let's see if you messed it up. No mistakes? Just for completeness sake, let's see how your friends did. Psh, whatever. How about this? Who does not belong to the Grateful Dead? The answer is... This one? Let's go someplace fun. Nothing says, yep, you're probably gonna die, than taking a spin at the loser wheel. Don't get all conscientious objector on me now. I'm sorry, is the wheel scaring you with its roundness? Spin! <sighs> Fine, I'll spin it for you. Round and round she goes, where she stops, nobody knows. Better luck next life! <laughs> Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Congrats on making it here alive! 
Now let's see if you can escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Hannah Barbera cartoon characters. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers! You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Australian cities. Can you stay out of the shadows? Simpsons characters voiced by Hank Azaria. Decisions, decisions. Here's another one. Countries that border China.
Welcome to Trivia Night, a gauntlet of pain and judgment. But it's also just a happy-go-lucky expression of all the things I love. Trivia, pop culture, fun, people laughing together, and also me murdering you. It's great! I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini-games. If you do badly in the mini-game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Listen to me blabber on. Let's just get into the game. You'll figure it out as we go. Okay now, first question. When Halloween rolls around, I don't hand out candy bars. I hand out toothbrushes because I'm evil. Also, it's never too early to teach good dental hygiene. Which of the following candy bars is made by the Peter Paul Candy Manufacturing Company? And the correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you... Prepare for your punishment. Welcome to the killing floor. It's time to express yourself! I want to see some masterpieces from you piggies. Key party. Draw this thing the best you can and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. Pick the drawing that you hate the most. Pick the drawing that makes you kind of hangry. The votes are in. Did you draw this ugly thing? I feel like death is too good for you after that crappy drawing. Here's everybody's score so far. Are scores important? If you crave external validation, then yeah. Let's try another one. I hope you've got really good long-term memory. When did Neanderthals roam the planet? The correct answer is... This. One of you is still alive. I have a surprise for you! Welcome back to the killing floor. We're going to play the finger cutting game. If you've got a hangnail, now's the perfect time to take care of it. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. It's as clean cut as your finger's about to be. Think happy thoughts. <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad, was it? I mean, you have to live with the consequences, but still. Let's see how the scores look now. Let's try another one. Yellowtail wine is a product of what country? <laughs> the 
You picked this one. I have a surprise for you. You know what you can always count on? Math. Literally. Ha! Ah! Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. All the other players will be playing along too. And if any of them do better than you, there will be a punishment. Let's do this. Yay, math! Keep going! I believe in you! We're almost done! Guess who's getting subtracted? I know I started this by pitting you against each other, but wow, your friends are ruthless. Hey, if any of you are famous, let me know. I've always wanted to meet a celebrity down here, especially Kristen Chenoweth. She's a firecracker. Let's try this again. What English football club's nickname is the Red Devils? <laughs> and the correct answer is... This. You're in for a treat. Let's do a little memory test. Everyone gets to play this time. Memorize the pattern. Okay, you've had enough time. I hope your memory's better than mine. All day I've been trying to remember the name of the guy from that HBO show. Man, who is that? I think his first name starts with a C? Or an L? Ugh, it's driving me bananas. You know what? Forget it. Let's just get back to the cards. Brian Ben Ben! That's it! Okay, good. From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? If anybody does better than you, you will be much worse off. Because you'll be dead. Was that clear? Here's the pattern again, folks. How did you do? But did anyone do better than you? Now that's what I'm talking about! It's not just that everybody ganged up on you, it's that they were smiling while they were doing it. Here's another one. Which of these herbs is essential for an oh-so-yummy caprese salad? I want to play a dice game. I'll go first. Eight. Now I need a little help from a safe player. How about you? In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? You can make it as hard or as easy as you want. Oh come on, with odds of survival that high, I'm barely even aroused. Roll higher than me or you die. They say you make your own luck, so make sure to blame this on yourself.
let's try this again. Here's a fun little tip if you're into DIY stuff. What type of acid is battery acid? One. Let's play a game. Good news! It's fighting time! You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you could grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I will still punish someone. I hope you all like violence as much as I do. Although that is pretty much impossible. I'm so excited! This is what it's all about, my piggies. This is going to look so good on my murder wall. I think you nicked an artery. Those guys don't look serious. Serious enough. all this way just for everybody to die at once? Aw, oh, hell no! We're doing the final round! You're doing the best so you get one more chance. The time has come. Glad to see you've made it here alive! But can you escape with your body? I'm going to give you a category. Ivy League schools. Tap on each answer that fits. Let's see the right answers! Move forward one space for every correct answer. It's getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Almost up. Human bones. Time today, kiddo. Beware of the darkness. Classified as bears. Decisions, decisions. You got a ghost breathing down your neck. Spooky! Character classes in Dungeons and Dragons.
Jesus. Another life slot. Hi! The party's downstairs! <laughs>
Schmitty's my name, Quiplash is my game. And it's your game, assuming you've paid for it. Just checking, none of you have a heart condition, right? Ah, you'll be fine. Time for round one. You are about to see two prompts on your device. Type something hilarious or not for each one. Then everyone gets to decide if your answer is better than someone else's. Democracy at work. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go. Time for the big reveal. First off, if a job interviewer asks you what's your biggest weakness, always say blank. Okay, vote for your favorite. section of a check. And vote. Scientists will discover that dinosaurs actually blank. Get to voting! Next in line, the reason the aliens stopped abducting you. Vote now. Best way to drown out the sound of a co-worker pooping in a nearby restroom. Ready, set, vote! Coming up next, what the Statue of Liberty needs added to her to better represent 21st century America. It's voting time! Up next, 
next. Write a really dramatic line for a doctor to say in a TV medical drama. Vote on your devices. That's round one. Let's see how the scores shook out. <laughs> round two is pulling into the station with double the points and bonuses. Let's start this show. Starting things off, when the stork isn't delivering babies, he blank. Okay, pick your favorite quip now. On the list. Remember, when dining at a sushi restaurant, you should never ever blank. Okay, vote. Interrogation would have a good cop, a bad cop, and a blank cop. Float away. up a political slogan if a bear was running for president make america blank again time to vote You know you're old when you're at a bar and the bartender asks you, blank. Put in your votes. Your next prompt is a bad thing to hear after yelling hello into a deep cave. 
Vote now. Next is a really cool thing to be reincarnated as. Vote away. Round two is no more. Let's see the damage. <laughs> Welcome to the last lash, the final round. There's just one prompt and you're all getting it. Complete the comic! Moment of truth. You get three medals to award to your top three quips. Give out your gold, silver, and bronze medals now. Let's see where those medals went. Bronze, silver, and finally gold. Great, let me just turn those medals into points for you. And we're finished. Show me those final scores.